All right, how's it going, YouTube? Uh, YouTubers or YouTube uh, subscribers? <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate that. I'm, I'm glad uh, uh, more of you are are uh, enjoying these videos. I'm gonna make a a, a painting, a, a pot with flowers today. Um, I'm an admirer of the Impressionist painters and Renoir was one of my my favorite ones to uh, to do flowers. So it's a little a little homage to the Renoir. Something very magical about blue. The color blue, I know people talk about the red, the theory of the red, and of course, right? It's very, very beautiful, but um, the color blue just, I don't know, it brings something else out. I use it a lot, of course, to like uh, other uh, painters to, to create uh, shadows and to create shade. And uh, I really enjoy it. Something that's not good. Add some red here. Red because we can. <laughs> This is, this is the freedom that I enjoy, the reason why I, I began painting. And, and uh, I certainly hope that, that you are also, if you're an artist, you're creating artwork in, in uh, however you create it, right? But with, with, uh, with that happiness, with that freedom. I certainly hope that's for you. I can't wait when I wake up, get out of bed, I can't wait to uh, to uh, before I go paint, before I go outside and, and sketch or do plein airs or whatever, I can't wait to get started um, thinking about what I'm going to share with you guys. I create these paintings uh, out of my studio um, and they're usually done around sometimes at night sometimes I, I have to do them at night but for the most part <coughs> they're done early in the morning so when you see me here painting it's it's somewhere around four or five in the morning <laughs> so just know you're getting the the sometimes <clears throat> sometimes a little later you know just depending it just depends but I like to I like to get to it quick early I have a thing for early light so those of you who maybe uh, follow me on, on uh, have been following my work on, on, on my website or this YouTube <coughs> <coughs> or maybe have um, <coughs> check out my um, 
eBay uh, listings, my auctions, you'll notice that I have a thing for uh, for early light. Ever since I was a a, a, a youngster, <laughs> a youngster, um, I have a a thing that that um, I developed. See, my my my. I grew up with a very uh, religious. Uh, mother and but she she was uh, very she became very spiritual after uh, in her late you know in her uh, older age she became older she stopped uh, well she didn't stop but but she transitioned a bit, very very beautiful transition from being uh, solely spiritual I mean solely uh, religious to being a uh, more spiritual, more uh, more in tune with with going deeper in, in the religion, right? In the religion um, we grew up in, a Catholic. So uh, she would uh, she would like to pray early in the morning, and she she would tell me that that there was something magical about about starting your day early. And receiving the the, the the blessings of the day early, right? There was something magical that she had experienced throughout her life. And I don't know if it was by osmosis or not, but I believed her, you know. I was like, I was like, I, I believe it because, uh, you know, it's something that I experienced. Wake up. Since I was a little kid, I mean, I'm talking about... As I can remember, we'll wake up the first day. She would she would uh, uh, read a uh, well. She would say thanks. You know, she would, she would start like doing a, a a simple prayer to thank God that, that she had woken up in the morning, and that she would make me recite and repeat, right? But I uh, I developed this this love for for the morning reminded me of. All the reasons you can give things to, you know, about. All the things you can be grateful. And, uh, and you know, whatever religion, whatever whatever spiritual practice, it doesn't matter. You know, it's it's all, it all come boils down to, uh, to that, you know, to, to, to that, that peace, right, that you, that you feel. And... She would talk to me about it. She would say, you know, uh, as I sketched, right, when I was a little kid, I, I started sketching. I started, I, I started drawing, uh, like, like many artists, when I was a little kid, I was about, I don't know. But I remember really well, it would, it's probably, I don't know, I was about nine years old or eight years old or something like that. I started sketching. Someone gave me a, Charcoal, and, and that's how I started. Charcoal and, and you know, artist charcoal and paper. One of my mom's uh, neighbor was very kind enough to do that. She she saw me drawing. So so, anyways, I, I would sketch in the morning, right? And I would see her pray. And outside the house, because she liked to do it outside, she didn't, she didn't necessarily enjoy it too much inside, so that she could uh, take in the 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 sun, right, in the morning. As it, as it, as the morning, as the sun came out. So as I was sketching the the sunrise, or I was sketching the the trees, or you know, you would hear the little birds start singing, right? And she would she would get close to me in my ear as I was uh, sketching, and she would tell me, you know, those those we we gotta be as the birds. And I was like, I don't understand what you're talking about. You know, I mean, I was a little boy. I didn't. I didn't I didn't understand much, but I had an intuition, or, or, or maybe because I was around um, that, you know, that uh, that environment, you know. So I had an intuition of what she was talking about, and she told me, you know, we have to be like the birds. And I was like, how so? You know, little kid doesn't understand. I'm like, how so, mom? She's like, the birds. The first thing they do in the morning is they start giving thanks to God, to the Creator. And that, that has always stuck with me. It changed my life. You know, my mom's no longer around with me, but uh, in, in, 
of course, in, in physical form. But that forever <laughs> changed my life. The idea that the first thing you need to do before anything is be grateful is a very sublime um, idea. It's a very sublime idea. And I try to apply it in my painting. So that's why I have a thing for, 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 um, for the morning. I have a thing for, for early light. Those of you who didn't know why I named so many of my paintings Early Light Something. There you have it. Now, now, you, now you have a, um, what do you say? A, a, a little deeper understanding of, of, of my artwork and why I, I, I have this thing for her, for the early light. She used to call, um, she used to call little, the, 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 the finches, right? The finches in the morning. She used to call them um, little messengers of peace. Bells, she used to say. They were like bells, as bells. Every time you heard one sing, you had to, rem you have to, you have to, uh, I, I, I mean, of course, scientifically, <laughs> I don't know, maybe they're trying to, I don't know, mate or something, I don't know. Scientifically, it's, it's, it always looks different, right? Um, it always looks like this other thing, but uh, spiritually, or, or just being aware, you know, just just being uh, uh, have the awareness to just pay attention to that. You know, that's one of the things that I believe that I um, I really believe that artists who pay attention are much more in tune with painting. That's, that's why I talk about that in, in other videos, you know, that's one of the things that I pay attention, that I, that I, that I look for in artists to see if they are, um, in my opinion, right, to see if they are, if, if they get it, if they really get, um, not, not the theory of art, there's many artists who get the theory of art and who can paint very well and, 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 realistically or, or abstract or whatever. Many artists understand the theory. But the, what, what I refer to as, as, as uh, the, 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 the observers, you know, the, 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 the ones that go beyond, beyond the, the, the practice of, 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 of getting um, the right formula. There's many artists that, that get the right formula. You know, uh, how you tone colors down, how you, you know, A, B, and C, the, 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 the vibrancy and this and that. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of artists, you know, the, the correct composition. So many artists are, are fighting, you know, I mean, in their minds <laughs> to, to acquire the, the right composition, right? The right composition. I, I, I always see that. I, I, I used to see it with, with artists. Uh, that I knew, and 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 I see it online too. And, and you know, you, you go online and people are always talking about. It. And it's usually artists because the, uh, the the collectors don't don't seem to. You know, collectors are more guided for the most part. And my experience has been they're more guided towards towards how they feel about the piece rather than the mechanics of the piece, right? But a lot of artists get stuck on the whole composition thing or the you know what color palette, or this or that. And what I encourage artists, every time I have a chance to give my two cents, is, look, none of that really matters. It, it, it matters, but only to a certain degree. It's not that important. Really, what, what is important in, in artwork, because I believe that, that painting is the practice of observation. That's really what you're doing. What really matters is that you learn how to observe, how to see, not not how to study, how to see, you know how to judge, how to say oh well this line is a little higher than this one. No, how to observe. Observe means that your your mental, uh, and that mental aspect is not there. You're just looking. Your your there's another word for it. I just don't remember what it is. But you you are only perceiving. 
You know, you're only perceiving. You're not. You're not. You're not in a in a in a mental uh, construct or a mental chatter. You know, you're only seeing, and that's a uh, it's practice. You know, it, some people may have it better than others. Maybe some practice it more. But every time you see that, that, that's why we love seeing professional painters. You know, you see a professional painter, and you're like, oh my god, how did he do that? How did he do that over there? You know, you see those. Uh, uh, well, I, maybe not perfect, may, maybe famous, I don't know. <laughs> but you, you look at it and you're like, how did he do that? It, what you're really admiring is the same thing you admire in a, in a football game or, or, or someone who cooks really well. You, you may not know this, but you, you are really admiring the artists or the artisans, or it's Julie Maker or whatever they do, uh, ability to see detail. And, and it's a different, sometimes detail looks different. For example, uh, Picasso's detail looks different than, 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 uh, than uh, John Singer Sargent's detail, right? Or, or my detail may look different. Maybe some people are like, oh, your stuff is not detailed at, at all, you know? But believe me, <laughs> believe me, it is. It's just a different type of detail. It might not be a... a it, it might not look like like someone else, but nevertheless, it's detail because because that's really what you're admiring. You're admiring the years of practice or the relentless observation, and the the, the relentless observation comes through seeps through in the painting or in the sculpting or you know the sculpture or the song or whatever. It, it goes. It seeps through. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> I hope you enjoy my sermon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm sharing the stuff that has worked for me and also the stuff that hasn't. So I hope you get something out of this. I believe I bring, I bring in a, a twist of what? online content is out there. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.